6.54 right now. Let's take a look at some of the stories that we're following this Thanksgiving morning. Let's begin with Rodney Ross. This morning, we're learning more about a fire at a historic Huntsville home. The home on Calhoun and Clinton Street caught fire Wednesday night. A neighbor rushed into the home to res rescue the two family dogs. Those pets were taken to an emergency veterinarian for care. Right now, the cause of the fire is under investigation. No one was hurt. Pat. This morning, we're learning 60 people will lose their jobs at the Daikin plant in Fayetteville, Tennessee, before the end of the year. Yesterday marked the end of the enormous layoff period where 529 people lost their jobs. All these layoffs, part of the company's plan to shut down and move to Houston, Texas. Some local businesses in Fayetteville are concerned it could impact them, especially during the holidays. We're learning about 21 drug arrests in DeKalb County. You can see some of those arrested on your screen right there. Deputies say on Monday they were able to close a drug house near the Henniger area. Six people were arrested there. Deputies made those arrests from the beginning of November up until yesterday. This morning, at least four teachers and staff members have resigned from the Lauderdale County school system. A source told Way 31, two teachers, a custodian, and an aide are among them. We now know the staff members worked at Lauderdale County and Brooks High Schools. The Board of Education Chairman and Rogersville Police Chief Terry Holden told us those resignations had nothing to do with the students. And if you want to work off some of those Thanksgiving meal calories, we'll head on down to the Tinsel Trail lighting celebration tomorrow. That event will kick off at 6 p.m. at Big Spring Park. You'll be able to walk around roughly six, th that's 300 trees decorated at the park for the holiday season. And you can get involved yourself by sponsoring your own tree for everyone to see. Carson?